Hello everyone, my name is John Locke and I'd like to welcome you to the winning trade, but first the required disclaimer material. This presentation is given for educational purposes only. We're not broker dealers or financial advisors and we're not making any specific trade recommendations. Also, please be aware that your risk in trading options is substantial and please make sure you are aware of all your risks prior to placing any trades. Also note that in this presentation, we're using hypothetical computer simulated trades and results. They're believed to be as accurately represented as possible. Keep in mind, however, that live results can vary from simulated results for many, many different reasons. If this is your first time joining us, my name is John Locke. I'm a trading performance, wealth, and success coach with Lock in Your Success LLC or LockInYourSuccess.com. And myself and team of mentors are here to help you win in the markets and in life as well. And today I'd like to take you into the realm of high probability options trading, also known as positive theta trading or income trading. Income trading is where we utilize option strategies to make money from the passage of time rather than depending on the on price movement in order to make money. Now, this doesn't mean we can make money all the time, but it does mean we can often make money whether the market goes up, down, or sideways. And the trading strategy we'll be covering today is called the short-term V32. It's a trade that is entered as little as three days and sometimes even less than that before expiration. Uh, sometimes it might be 15 days. It all depends on the implied volatility skew curve, but it's a extremely powerful way to take advantage of the current implied volatility skew curves in the marketplace. And uh, I added this strategy to the V32. Now, a deeper explanation of the V32 or the short-term V32, it's going to be a short-term market neutral broken wing butterfly strategy on the Russell. It is slightly positive bias. It requires a minimum of $5,000. The example size is going to be $25,000. And there is no profit target. And the exit loss trigger is going to be $2,500. Let's take a look at the trade. If you haven't been with us before, this is a software called Option Net Explorer. And this software uh, shows a, what we call an analyzed graph that represents the risk of price movement and passage of time in your position. So here we have the date. So the date's going to be September 28th, uh, 2021. Uh, right now, we are going to be trading in the October 6, 2021 expiration cycle, and it is eight days from expiration. That's what this uh, number here means. You can see that we have different expiration cycles that we could choose from, and we can swap between them. Down the top here are our call options. The bottom is our put options. This is the strike of each option. And on the right here, we have what we call our analytical graph. And this is the value of the position at expiration at any given price point of the Russell 2000. And then we have our T plus zero line, which is the estimated value of the position as of today at any price point in the Russell 2000. As you can see, we are selling a 60-40 broken wing butterfly, we call it. So we're selling 20 of our 220 short strikes. 10 of our 2260s and 10 of our 2160s. So uh, this is a $25,000 planned capital trade. That's going to give us an exit loss trigger of $2,500. I don't have a profit target on this, but you'll see there's ways that we deal with this to, um, to exit. So what we're going to do here basically is we're going to enter in this position here. Uh, the asset price is at 2236. Our short strikes are going to be between 17 and 27 points under. And that's going to put us at approximately in this case here we're going to start with the 2220s which is a, which are about 16 points under so we're just kind of trying to get into that range underneath the market we're going to put on a 60 40 broken wing butterfly and then we're going to check our delta what we want to do is we want to get in a cycle that is as close to expiration as possible and still be positive delta with our 60-40 broken wing butterfly. Depending on the implied volatility skew curve at any given moment is going to depend which expiration cycle we get in. So you notice I'm entering on a down day. We do like to ent enter these after the markets move down a lot. You can see most of our risk is to the downside. Generally, these tend to do better in either a flat market or an uptrending market. Uh, if the downtrend is too fast, we can sometimes run into a little bit of problems and then end up getting stopped out. So this would be considered a good entry time. Realistically, once we start the trade, it's a continuous re-entry trade. So anytime we exit a position, we're just going to simply get back into a new position. But if I'm starting a fresh trade and I happen to get a down day, 
then that's a, all the better to enter the position in. So from here, we want this trade to maintain positive delta. We want our capital to stay under our 25,000, and, and as we get closer to expiration, we try to keep it under 20,000, and that's for this position size. We're going to try and keep positive delta, and then we have a rollback point in this position at 2220. Now, as we shorten our upper wing, when we make our adjustments, then we're going to change our rollback point. We'll kind of talk about that as we go along. And if we have to roll back and we cannot meet this entry criteria, we're going to end up closing this cycle and going into a different cycle. So let's just see how this goes. So you'll notice we're only eight days to expiration. So this T plus zero line, if the market doesn't move, is going to raise very, very quickly. So let's go to day one here. So it's, it's uh, September 28th. The first day we get a pretty flat move and we're up $1,160. And by the way, I'm checking this once a day at our checkpoint time as like we normally do on even our longer term trades here. So that's what we have. If we go another day here, again, a relatively flat day. Our rollback point is if the asset price gets under 22.20, we're at 22.23, so that's fine. Again, you'll notice during the day it went under that, but we're only considering our checkpoint time. Again, we don't want to be glued to the computer all day. So here we are, we're up 1,600. If we go the following day, we end up getting a 41 point up move. And when we get this up move here, this is pretty substantial, uh, we end up being negative delta. So we don't want this position to be negative delta. We want to maintain positive. So I'm going to roll this in. And when I do so, it puts my capital too high. So what I want to do to reduce that is to roll this back in. And if we did that, we'd end up with positive 13 delta. And this would be our position. Okay, so we're just going to sell this condor off and end up in our new position here. Now, let's move forward. Here we had a 22 point down move in the asset. We're up 32.70. Our actual rollback point here, because we rolled this 22.60 to 22.50 is actually gonna be 22.30. We look at our checkpoint time, we're all the way down at 22.18, so this requires a rollback. Now, if I were to close this position and roll back to, what do we, it would be 2200, and do a 40 on the top and a 60 on the bottom, you can see I'm very negative delta. And I'm over, uh, well, I guess I'm not over capital, but I'm very negative delta. This being the case, the rules within the system are not going to allow me to roll back. I need to go to a different expiration cycle. So I'm going to close this trade. At about a $3,230 profit. And I'm going to move on to the next cycle. So let's do this. Now to determine the next cycle, I'm just going to go out in time with my broken wing butterfly where I have to put it on and wait in, until I get positive delta with that setup. So in this case here, uh, if I go to from my two data expiration to my four data expiration, if I enter that, I can enter into this trade and be positive delta. And my capital is under 25000 so that's good. Again, this is a 10 lot, so let's move forward here. Again, this is a 25000 plan capital trade, so moving forward. First day, we get a 12-point up move. We're up $2,585. We are two negative delta, so to correct for that, we're going to have to roll these in to reduce our capital. We're going to have to roll these in to fix our delta. We end up being in this position here with a, we had to roll it up two strikes. So we have a 40 point wing on the lower side and we have a 20 point wing and a 30 point wing on the upper side. So let's move to the following day. And that is today. And as of today, 
we are currently up 3,400 and let's see things bounce around here, but about around 43, $4,400. And the asset price is at, is at 2013. So if I take a look at that, our rollback point on this is actually going to be 2025. So we're actually underneath our rollback point, meaning that we would want to close this position or at least look at rolling it back. So I would model this. I would enter my closing model position trades and I come back here and go to, let's see, that's put us at 22, uh, 2190s what that's gonna put us at. I would model my 2190 That's going to be plus five. And if I were to do that, I would be negative delta. So I can't make the rollback in this expiration cycle. I'd have to close this, and then I would go looking for, I'd look at my five days to expiration, look at my seven days to expiration, and find the uh, expiration cycle, which would allow me to enter this with a 60-40 in positive delta. And then I would enter that cycle and continue the process again going forward. So that's two examples of our short-term V32, this episode's winning trade. If you liked what you saw on today's winning trade, I invite you to join us at LockingYourSuccess.com or TheWinningTrade.com and discover how you too can follow along with this and many other great strategies as they unfold during our weekly trade update webinars. Also, where you can learn about upcoming winning trade presentations, and explore past winning trades. And perhaps best of all, you can also find out about our free trading performance podcast where you can learn to skyrocket your results regardless of the type of trading you do. If you have any questions, comments, or anything you'd like to see on the next winning trade, we'd love to hear from you. Please post in the comments below, and I'll make sure I answer your questions for you personally. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you on the next winning trade.